um, as I had the problem with um, the system Linux in Arch Linux um, because um, the local problems for example you're not a non-English user and your locales were not um, playing good with the system Linux um, locales and some other issues and if you want to use Yumi as your um, multibit USB creator um, uh, today I'm going to show you how to properly um, use the Yumi without booting into a Windows operating system um, um, I'm not uh, mentioning the Harness Boot CD because it's a modified, a modified uh, Windows XP and I don't know if its um, licenses were same as the um, Windows license but um, for the personal use um, personal usage um, I think um, you don't need to buy a Microsoft license now let's begin we are begin with um, downloading both Harvest Boot CD from this address and here then extracting the ISO file and Yumi multi boot USB program from here from this side we're not um, doing the UFE version um, today because I'm not um, tested it yet and I'm not going to test it so this is all about the MBR um, thing not the UFA after we download the, um, download the files you will see those two files um, um, now you will be want to create a archive from those two files I'm using a file roller to do this. I'm using the ISO extension to the folder where they are. As you see, now they're adding into the folder and the file and they added. And why do I am um, doing this? Because um, with this um, Thing, you can just put this executable and this ISO file to the virtual machine really easy without creating uh, any um, virtual uh, partition or virtual disk and this is the easiest solution you can get now um, if your um, USB thumbstick uses a UFE file system or multiple partitions like that um, firstly, you should open a gparted and create a new um, new file system. A new partition. Ah, I'm sorry. Um, a new uh, MBR. You should create a new MBR, and that mustn't be a UFE. That should be an MS DOS MBR. Create it, and then create a FAT32 partition. There will be one megabyte, and before the partition. You can't make it zero and just add this and apply. Because of the um, virtual machine uses the uh, modified Windows XP, Windows XP does not recognize the UFE partition as I tested and it's really um, not in my knowledge. So yeah, we done this. After that, close this. And, and remember that um, which device is this this is div stb not div sta this can be changed if you have multiple devices mounted but for me it's div stb don't pick this number just div stb 
Now we will be create a um, um, FMDK file which will uh, mount the USB thumbstick with a raw disk and in the raw disk type. We should have to do this as I mentioned here your storage device in this comment. Let's do this comment. Uh, wait for a second. Um, please wait. Yeah. Um, let's see. This is a work um, project folder, and you don't want to mess around the other folders. You just have to open your um, terminal here in which folder you want and copy and paste this comment and change the uh, last thing with your device as mine as I mentioned before was SDB and enter enter your sudo password if you have one And it should say created successfully. Let's um, see how it's created. Um, I lost the words. They ha here. Yeah, it should create a virtual machine disk format and the key. Now we will be use this file and don't change the permissions. You don't need to have to change the permissions, but you can change the permissions, but it will not affect the thing we are going to do. So you don't have to change the permissions of this file or um, you can, it's not going to affect you. I just want to say that. Then we should create, uh, open the virtual um, ev W virtual box with root for doing this you can see the command to launch the virtual box once that just add sudo to the beginning of this and hit enter it will run on root Create a new mission, or if you not created them before, it will be ask you to create one. Create a new machine, uh, rename it as much as name as you want. Select Microsoft Windows. Select Microsoft XP 32 bit. Reserve a um, thousand seven hundred megabytes because even it's a uh, Windows XP, this will be require more RAM than um, how the Windows XP Classic requires because of the virtual uh, RAM disk it's going to create. Will be gone and don't add uh, um, don't add it right now. Um, don't add a storage. Don't create a virtual storage. Just go to its settings, the newly created device you can add uh, RAM memory up to 64 megabytes don't check those boxes, we don't need them add a disk as um, the CD-ROM choose, choose the HP CD, minus boot CD ISO then Choose again. Choose the ISO file we created that uh, includes the executable and the ISO file of the Harris Boot CD. We will be need them. And as a storage device, choose the FM, FMDK file you have created. This is important. Um, I can't see where's the dolens. I guess ah I'm sorry I'm sorry I was into a wrong folder. Okay.
custom ones. Okay. Tuesday FMD Kifa. And be sure it adds successfully and reads the same amount of memory as your flash disk have. And choose Harris Boot CD as a primary master. This does not have to be in boot order. And say OK. Then start. Don't select a boot device. Choose Mini Windows XP. Wait for it to boot. If it says out of virtual memory error, increase the RAM that you gave to virtual machine. It sometimes happens. Okay, um, now you understand why I done this because the easiest method to um, insert files to a virtual machine is creating an ISO file. Okay, our uh, things were here. And the local disk is our USB flash disk. The F is the um, physical CD-ROM, and D is the CD-ROM which built this virtual machine. Okay, now we are selecting the um, CD-ROM that includes the file. Select UMI. Select I agree. The device we are not going to show as a USB device, so select Show all devices. You will see that. There is a 3 gigabytes FAT32 HDD. There is nothing installed there. Then select Hyrule's Boot CD as the first thing we're going to add. Um, why we're we going to add? Because we want it to write the system Linux. To the MBR. Select the ISO file and say create. Yes, and it's successfully created. In the first thing, um, it not at the exactly it should be. Yes, but sometimes this happens, like. It might not going to add the files. Okay, looks like the process is finished. Say no. Say finish. And and the and yes, let's take a look to our device. You will see that. Um, system Linux and LD Linux is here. That's okay. And let's try to shut down, uh, reboot the virtual device, and test if the USB device is really booting up. Let's say select bootable device, and yeah, our flash disk boots. Check it for um, being sure. And yeah, I can be pretty sure that the device works. Um, after that steps, um, you can use the wine um, to um, add the other distros or other boot bootable ISO files. You can just use the wine, but for this pre uh, particular usage, you have to firstly um, format the device. So we um, we just done this. Um, if the files were not created and it wasn't be booted, but it says system Linux, but couldn't boot it, you just can. Physically unmount the USB device, then physically remount the USB device. After that, open open a uh, folder uh, file explorer, then mount 
the USB thumbstick, enter the multimit folder. Um, in the previous test I have done, the LD Linux and System Linux wasn't wasn't created. So I was just um, just copy the system Linux and LD Linux from those folders. Um, this folder. The user lib system Linux BIOS. And I just copied the system Linux over here and LD Linux and it was fixed. But anyway, um, if the um, virtual box um, couldn't just extract the folders, you can use the Wine version of Fumi and just execute the um, executable of Yumi under the Wine. Um, I'm just waiting it to open. And you can use here to do your thing. Let's see, but look at there, Harvest Beach City is installed. And you just you just can't uh, select any distro here. And it will be ask you to ISO file and you can choose. You can even create permanent um, permanent file systems up to four gigabytes with this wine version so um, you just need to enter the virtual box for formatting thanks for watching me uh, and i hope i helped you